Ascend is Winfield's plant growth regulator. Uh, we use it with our phosphate starters uh, such as 10340 and 6246. Uh, to give that corn a little extra boost but during planting season, uh, what we really look to see with the send is, is quicker, more even germination and uh, better root and stem development as we move through the growing season. Uh, and I think with that, we've already showed you guys some of the roots today, but what I really wanted to point out uh, was the stock diameter. And I think this tells a great story of, of the job that Ascend is doing. So on my, my right, your left, you're going to see... Uh, the stock treated with Ascend, uh, ultra chelated zinc and 10340. And then on my left, your right, you're gonna see uh, just plain 10340. And I think that tells a great story of what uh, Ascend and that ultra chelated zinc and 10340 all in conjunction in that synergy is gonna help do with that plant and drive uh, moisture and nutrients up into the leaves. Um, base fertility was uh, 180 pounds of nitrogen put down with anhydrous, uh, variable rate P and K. Uh, and then just a couple days ago was side dressed, side dressed with uh, 60 more pounds of nitrogen. So um, just kind of taking a look at uh, this farmer uses 10340 uh, across all their acres and uh, pretty good looking field overall. Right here we've got uh, just this is part of the untreated check that we've been looking at. Uh, you can see the 10340, uh, pretty good planting depth, um, good root structure I think. Uh, looking at the leaves, uh, we counted them a minute ago, we're looking at about v7 we're just coming into v7 we can see the seventh collar there uh, pretty good looking corn overall i'd say um, and then on this side uh, we just dug this up and cleaned off the roots we've got uh, our ascend uh, plus our nine percent ultra chelated zinc uh, we're looking at about that v7 uh, pretty close we're a little bit farther along if we want to compare these two um, you can see right there that collar is just over that leaf and then up here we've got a couple inches where it's just a little bit further ahead but uh, you can see overall just kind of a better root structure a um, little bit more fibrous hairs deeper roots is like the 10340 these guys are using five gallons of 10340 and that's their standard practice uh, history on this farm they have pretty high levels of fertilization in the dry program so they're keeping that up to snuff seems like they're using that to get a better stand in the spring. Usually they have colder, damper soils over here on the Iowa bottom. Here I have what would be an ascend treated plant. Um, good root growth as you can see. Uh, Sean over there has got uh, the ascend, uh, untreated plant. So you're going to kind of look and compare those roots right there. Um, see a little bit, a few more fibrous hairs, uh, deeper, more penetrating, deeper roots. So I'm pretty happy with what we have going on here. A little bit more of the tassel has popped out a little bit further and the other thing I'm noticing on this is that we've got our ear emerging here on this leaf so I, I'm really happy to see that uh, when we compare that to the untreated and that, that tassel is still a little wrapped up which is safe, Sean. Yes. and then can you find any gear on that? Maybe just start the shell. Yeah, barely start to poke out here. Kind of give you an example if you can see that. So yeah, if you look here, right there, you're going to see that here is just a little bit further along. Uh, but overall, I was being shot, I've kind of walked through this field and kept an eye on things throughout the year. We just kind of noticed a more even, consistent stand. And uh, after how things have turned out here, I'm going to be interested to see the combine roll through this. Not much money and not much land. He didn't make no banker or no legal charmer when the law made me, he made a black lamb farmer.